Hello, Team Mentor Food here today. How's everyone doing? Great, fantastic. As you all know, if you've been watching my videos, that I am on a healing journey. Um, I was brought to this journey due to the fact that I'm a believer. And um, I started seeing certain patterns in my life that um, I kept repeating over and over and over again. And um, at first, I used to blame everybody for my life. Oh, it was your fault, this person's fault, that person's fault. Um, but then it just came to me very clearly one day that I needed to pray that the Lord change my heart. Because I do believe that whatever we are in and, you know, whatever is happening in our life, we have to some point in time start taking responsibility for our actions and not um, continue to point outward, but start to point inward. So with that being said, I'm a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. And today I'd just like to read a scripture in regards to um, asking the Lord to change our heart. You know, everything starts with us first. It's not the outside. It is the inside and it's the inside of us. So this is a scripture in um, Psalms 51.10. And this is David, King David, asking the Lord to create in him a new heart. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. So David knew that he had some things in his heart that wasn't right, you know, that were not pleasing to the Lord and that um, he knew he needed to change. And so um, if you're on this healing journey, there was something that happened inside of your heart that told you you needed to change, you know. And when we're on this journey of healing, we have to start pointing the fingers at ourselves. We can no longer point the fingers at the outside um, world. Um, we have to start pointing the fingers at us because we are like magnets. And so whatever we attracted from the outside world, we um, feel that way about ourselves on the inside. And so uh, King David knew that there was things in his heart that needed to go. Um, when I got to this journey in my life of needing to change, I knew that there was something in my heart that needed to change, that needed to go, you know, that I knew that, um, that it, it all started with me. And so instead of being angry at the people that, um, we feel have hurt us or have done wrong by us or didn't do right or didn't tell us something or didn't you know give us the right information they gave us wrong advice and things of that nature we have to start um still looking at ourselves you know what was it about us that made us you know be certain um targets for these type of people to influence us you know what did we feel good about ourselves or we didn't feel good about ourselves or what was in our heart that needed to go. So, you know, we have to remove the beam from our eye before we can start pointing the finger at somebody else's, you know, their their situation or what they done to us. You know, we have to remove the beam from our eyes. And um, there's a scripture also in the word of God, it's Matthew, it says, you hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye so again everything starts with us we have to look at ourselves no matter how painful it is in order to heal properly and to, to continue on this road of healing we have to start removing the things from us first remove the the plank from our eye you know start removing our faults our mistakes our um our ways of how we are feeling about ourselves because it all starts with us it all starts with how we are feeling about ourselves how we have always felt about ourselves you know um blaming the outside is not going to get to the core of us and it's not going to get to the core of why we behave the way we behave. 
it's until we start removing the plank from our eyes, the, the, the things, the insecurities of how we are feeling about ourselves is when the real change starts to take place. This is not easy, of course, because then you get, you know you have to really look at yourself for all your fears, all your your uh, how you've been feeling about yourself from the time you were you know in high school or a, a teenager or whenever you know you started feeling a certain way about yourself. But it's the only way to really start healing is to just start looking at ourselves. Um, that I know is um, a challenge for some because we constantly want to blame other people. And yeah, you know, you probably had some people in your life that were sabotaging your life, doing things to you intentionally. But again, you cannot keep blaming those people. We cannot keep pointing the finger on the outside. We have to start taking responsibility for our actions and, and start really carving away a better way for us to go because regardless of what someone has done to us god has a better way for us and whatever bad that has happened to us through people or certain situations or circumstances god has can use all of that and he can turn it around for us but he first need to work on us we need to start pointing the fingers at ourselves. We need to start letting God remove the darkness from our hearts, the darkness from our mind, the tears from our heart, the weeds from our minds. We have to allow God to start removing those dead things that aren't working in us anymore. And once he start removing the dead things that aren't working in us, then we can start to have sympathy and pity for those people that we thought we should stay mad at for the rest of our lives. It's not about that. It's about just clearing out the clutter of, of your mind, the clutter from your heart, and letting go of those people that you've been holding in prison, which is really yourself. You've been holding yourself in prison. I've been holding myself in prison because I refuse to look at myself and, and figure out what you know is going on with me. And I'm learning that on this journey of healing that is not about living from the outside. It's not about that. The outside of wanting people to love you, the outside of wanting people to accept you, the outside of wanting people to be your friend or want the outside of wanting people to love you or the outside of wanting people to like you. It really isn't about that. It's about you loving yourself first, liking yourself first, accepting yourself first, being yourself first. When you start accepting who you are, then the world will open up to people that will love you for who you are. But until then, it won't be that way because you're living from the outside trying to get something to love you when you are capable of loving yourself. You know, I'm capable of loving myself, but let it start with praying, Lord, create in me a new heart. You know, let the Lord change you from the inside. And once God starts changing you from the inside, he will start putting you around people that are, that are like you. So he'll start showing you you. If you are a gossiper, he's going to put you around people that gossip. If you are sneaky in how you're dealing with people, he's going to put you around those type of people. If you are a murmurer, a complainer, he's going to start putting you around those people. Now, the key to that is to look at yourself because you have to remember that you prayed a prayer that the Lord changed your heart. And so that's what God will start doing. He will start changing your heart. How will he do that? By putting you around people, showing you who you are. So when those things happen, you ask God to forgive you and you write about it and you move on, you know, and when it tries to come back on you, you say, no, I've already given this to God and I'm moving on. I'm moving past this. And if there's still more murmuring and complaining inside of you or more anger or anything of that nature in you, uh, gossiping, if any of that is in you, just continue to write, to write it out, write it out until the Lord remove the root of it. Because remember, there's things in us first that have to go, you know, and until they go, we will continue to, to stay the same. We will continue to 
could attract the same amount of people or the same people that we are, we will continue to attract these type of people. It's till we start removing the being from us, removing the bad habits, removing the old ways of operating. And, you know, we're going to be uncomfortable and operating differently, you know, but that's okay because that uncomfortableness means that there's change coming. Will that change happen right away? No, it's not going to happen right away. But we have to keep trying and keep praying before the Lord and asking him to remove this, Father, from me. Remove that from me. Remove this. And then we'll realize one day that it's not there no more. But most importantly, we have to pray for those people that have used us, that have abused us, and misused us. We have to pray to God to, um, to change those people. You know, we have to bless those people who have hurt us. When Jesus was being taken to, when he was hanging up on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. You know, the people that have hurt us and harmed us, they don't know what they were, they didn't know what they were doing to us. You know, they were blind and they may still be blind. But what we can do to clear the way of our heart, to clear our mind, to grow to greatness and more greatness in the glory of the Lord is we forgive them people and we move on. We move on. We bless them and we move on because we have to do it God's way. And, you know, if he say do this, then we have to do it this way. You know, do it his way because his way is the way to truth and his, his way is the way to life. You know, life in abundance. So if you're here on this journey and I pray that you are praying that the Lord change your heart. You know, that is the best prayer to prayer to pray is if you're on this healing journey. I don't know if you believe in the Lord, but I believe in him and I'm going to talk about him in my videos and I don't care who don't like it or whatever the case may be. But if it wasn't for the Lord, I wouldn't be here today. And that's a fact. I wouldn't be here today. So I talk about him all the time because I love him because I know he loves me. He loved me enough to bring me here. So I hope this video has helped someone remember just to Remove the beam from your eye. Remove your problems first from you because whatever or however you felt, you built up this fortress around you and that's the people you attracted to you. The people to mistreat you because you are mistreating yourself because you're not loving yourself. So you attracted those type of people to mistreat you, to dog you out, to think of you last. Because you have dogged you out. You think of you last. You do you not think of you first. So that's what you're going to attract. I hope this video has helped someone. Share, like, and leave a comment. And please let me hear your food story. I would love to hear what you've gone through. Thank you. For listening to um, my plates and receiving them. I hope you have been enjoying them. And um, God bless you all. And be blessed.